we shouldn't have to be here this morning. Um, you know, as of I think some point today, this is going to become the longest government shutdown in American history, and it's wrong. People have already missed car payments. People have already been unable to pay their daycare providers because they're stockpiling money just so that they can pay for food, not knowing how long this is going to go on. And it's just very frustrating to effectively be told that for a policy initiative, you know, a policy initiative is more important than putting food on my daughter's table or putting clothes on my daughter's back or putting a roof over her head. You know, we bought a house uh, here in Alexandria um, back in August, and you know, mortgage payment's going to come due at the end of the month, and I'm pretty sure that we'll be fine making that payment. I don't know what happens down the road. This is my fourth shutdown I've been through. I've missed several paychecks throughout, uh, some of them going back to Clinton and Gingrich. Um, there's got to be a way to prevent this from happening again. We shouldn't be held hostage for, for this sort of thing. And why are we in the middle of this? Why are government employees being forced to suffer for these political goals. I hope there's a way that, that Congress can find a solution to preventing this from happening again. I'm angry. Um, I'm scared. Uh, I've been planning, but I will say since uh, the day, you know, that Friday night when we went into government shutdown, Christmas was not a relaxing time for me. I've been really nervous. Um, I was happy we got that first paycheck after Christmas for um, the work that we had done. Um, but I was planning for the fact that we might not get this one. And I'm glad I did that because, um, you know, I made all the essential payments and I still have some funds to make sure we can, you know, pay for food for the kids. Um, but it's scary. And it's scary not knowing when I will get paid next. We saw that the government is actually sending out pay stubs with zero dollars, almost worse than not having anything.